Unless an allergy is life-threatening, I'm not going to let it stop me. Like, I'm pretty allergic to cherries. My lips swell up, and they get really itchy. But why would I let that stop me from enjoying my life? Like, I'm still going to eat 47,000 of them. Same with some nuts I'm allergic to. My throat gets, like, really itchy. Like, low-key starts to close, but, like, not fully. Like, it's not going to kill me. And if they're in a baked good, I'll never just, like, eat them straight up. But if they're in a baked good, mm, no, they're not. Oh, sorry, I actually didn't read that ingredient. No, they're not. And I'm not dead yet, so... Hi, my name is Dr. Ruben. I'm a board certified allergist, and this is a public service announcement meant to be shared widely to help raise awareness towards a common issue like what was presented earlier, which is if you develop localized itching, swelling, or burning in your lips, mouth, or throat after eating fresh fruits, vegetables, or even nuts, and these symptoms do not necessarily occur if you cook, can, process, microwave, or freeze these foods, then you may have something called oral allergy syndrome, also known as pollen food allergy syndrome. And the reason why this may happen is that your immune system may become sensitized to pollen grains from trees, grasses, and or weeds over time. And there are certain structures found on these pollen grains that are similar to the protein structures found on fresh fruits, vegetables, and even nuts. And when you cook these foods, it breaks down the proteins enough so your immune system does not recognize it and create that localized response and usually that's the case for many people. However, there's a subset somewhere between maybe two to 10% of people where they could develop later on systemic symptoms that are more severe, such as vomiting, problems breathing, such as wheezing and repetitive coughing. They could have hives all over their body. They could have swelling that can make it difficult to breathe. They could even have a drop in blood pressure or a combination of these symptoms that could be quite severe, also known as anaphylaxis and be potentially life-threatening. And so if you are eating these foods on a regular basis, having these symptoms, we do not know in the future if you will go on to develop these more severe symptoms. So it is best to talk with an allergist to get a formal evaluation to know if it's appropriate to continue to eat these foods and what you could do for potential management.